is Brandon Slay from ThirstGym.com, and today we're talking about exercise called the Barbell Zercher Squat. This is a great lower body strength exercise. It's also going to attack the upper back statically, and so it works great for a variety of athletes. Uh, it is very challenging, so I would definitely progress slowly with this. To newer athletes that are used to this, um, it, it is going to be a little bit challenging for them. So what you're going to need is some kind of barbell. Um, I really like using the zigzag bar or an easy base bar just because of the curves. If you can get one that fits in your rack, if you have access to one, that's great. Uh, if not, just a regular straight 45 pound barbell works fantastic as well. Just understand that it is going to be sitting in the crooks of our elbows, so that might be a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, but so just take that in mind. If you even have access to an axle bar, I would recommend that. That wider bar is going to give you more surface area. Or if you've got fat grips, you can put the fat grips on the barbell as well, and that will also make it comfortable. So it's a couple of different ways you can work around this uh, from a comfort standpoint. But otherwise, you're going to set the barbell around hip height, give or take. Uh, just understand this is not a back or front squat. We don't need it as high. We're just going to have a good and low just so that we can kind of quarter squat into the position to get the barbell out. Um, but you could certainly change that if you really wanted to. And then what I'm going to do, everything else from a squat mechanics perspective is going to stay the same. Feet are flat, hips are going to go back and down. We're going to keep that load out in front of us. We're going to let our knees are forward just a little bit because of where the load's at so that we can actually get to 90 degrees. And then we're just going to stand up strong. So. From here, I'm gonna get that and I crick my elbows, get in my position, take a step out or two, good athletic stance, feet are wider than my hips. I got the weight here out in front of me. Notice I'm not trying to like shrug up, I'm just letting it sit there, keep my arms down. It is gonna be a little hard to hit 90 degrees sometimes if your elbows are not inside of your body, so just be aware of that. You're gonna squat down, back up. And then rack. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm kind of shifting the weight forward just a little bit as I go down. And what that's helping me do is sit more down so my knees can come forward, but also for the sheer fact, I don't want my elbows hitting my legs, right? So if you try to do this in a narrow stance, it's not gonna work. You're actually gonna have to have them be a little wider than hip width just to make room for your arms. Now for this exercise, it's usually more of a strength-based exercise, not usually something you're gonna do for high repetition. So I recommend only doing one to six reps uh, for anywhere from about two to five sets to train your general strength qualities. Because there is no box, uh, just a regular free, taking, free squat, just make sure this is your athletes are ready for this. Um, it could leave them sore from neck to butt. Um, their entire legs can be sore, their backs can be sore, especially the first time doing it. Um, but it does have good transfer, like I said, those combat based sports, wrestling, jiu jitsu, um, uh, anything that's combat related works fine, um, boxing even. But the big thing here is that we want to make sure we stay in a good squat pattern, lay low stays out in front of us. That's going to open our backside up, help give us more space to squat. So if somebody even looks really restricted on their squat, you might try a zercher based position and see if they're able to get down to 90 degrees and feel well and still load that in a good position. Um, but it also works great for strength athletes that just need that static upper back strength while squatting. Uh, it's a different loading pattern. Um, you're not going to have that exact compressive force on the spine because the barbell is out in front of you. So that could be a huge benefit. I know this personally feels good for me, uh, something that I kind of use from time to time as well to kind of bridge my gaps with my squats. So if you got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks. Have a great day.